What day is it? What day is it? Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it? What day is it? Hump day, it's hump day. Good morning, and thanks for tuning in to another hump day. This is the last hump day for 2020, a year that has been very strange, a time that many of us will always remember. We've seen lots of disturbing things. We've experienced many things that have been unpleasant. We've also found some joy in different places, different times, but of course it has been overshadowed by all that's happened around us. It's funny, time is an interesting thing. There's a timeline that we all have in our, in our minds. There's the one of, you know, the days that we were, had special events happen. For myself, I always think of the times of graduations, weddings, births of children, and of course, Super Bowl wins for the Broncos. But that's beside the point. We also have other times that seem to transcend. Things that get compiled together and jumbled together and make us have memories of specific things, like maybe Christmases or, or time spent with parents or being in the backyard as a kid at home. Time is an interesting thing, and there's a time in the Bible that's kind of confusing to us. It's in the Gospel of John. We read it a lot this time of year, as in Christmas and New Year. It's in the very beginning. It's in the prologue, so to speak. In the Gospel of John, we find these words, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's kind of perplexing for us a little bit. The translation of what we know as the word in Greek, it, the word is called logos. And it means more than just a word. It means all that's encompassing in language and speech and being. We find in the beginning was the word in this gospel. And logos is even more than just the word that was spoken at creation. It is an entity that has been there forever and will continue forever. Our timelines don't fit that. Our timelines don't match up to that foreverness. We want to set boundaries and barriers around time. We're going to mark it this week with a new year. We're going to get out of 2020, and hopefully 2021 is going to be better. We all pray that that's the case. But can we set parameters around the Word of God? That is what the Gospel writer of John was trying to tell us. The Word of God is so great, it came in a human being, incarnate in the form of Jesus. The Word lasts forever. Something to think about as we move through time. Something to remember that through it all, God is with us. Because God was there before we knew the beginning. And God will be there well past us. But through it all, God loves us. Take care, my friends. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.